Hey everybody, back for one more example examining a chemical formula. This time we're given the name calcium hydroxide. Now, I can identify this as an ionic compound, again because I have a metal, and in this case a polyatomic ion made up of nonmetals. The formula for my compound is CaOH2. The formula for this compound recognizes that calcium is going to form a positive 2 ion, Hydroxide, one of those polyatomic ions that you may need to check a reference for when you're first starting out, will come together in a ratio of 1 to 2. Now, once again, because we're working with an ionic compound, this is going to be called a formula unit. And in our formula unit, we have 1 calcium ion to 2 hydroxide ions. Again, more practically, you should be thinking about those in terms of numbers of moles. Now, let's talk about formula mass and molar mass. Quick jump to my periodic table. You may find it helpful when you're working with compounds that involve polyatomic ions to write it out to help you better identify how many of each element you're working with. This little subscript of two implies that I've got two hydroxides. So, as I determine the total mass of this compound, I'm gonna take one times the mass of calcium 40.08. I'm going to add to that, new parentheses, two times the mass of oxygen because I have two oxygens in total. And then I'll add to that the mass of two hydrogens. One, two, three, close parentheses, enter. All right, so as we think about our formula mass or the mass of all of these things combined, we get 74.094 amu for our formula mass. And then recognize numerically it's exactly the same as our molar mass, but units are grams per mole. 